Welcome back to another video, guys. We have today our bean beetles. Um, these are another nice alternative for fruit flies. Um, if you guys saw my last video, I did fruit flies and um, separating all of those, which are all in there. We have tons of fruit flies between the Turkish bladders, Melanogaster, and the Hydei. But today, you guys can see those are all sorted. Today, we're going to be doing these guys, the bean beetles. How to breed them, how to sort them, um, the best ways that I've found as well as feeding them is basically the same as feeding the fruit flies. So if you guys want to see that, go watch the fruit fly video that I just posted um, a couple days ago. Um, but over here, I'm doing a lot of things today. I am uh, sorting out some superworms to turn into beetles so we can uh, continue with that breeding project. I have another container right here that I have to sort some more superworms out with. Um, I just fed our Versa colors. You guys can see that she's eating really well in there. Um, adult female versa color. She's getting changed out of this enclosure to go to a little bit bigger of a one, a bigger one, a taller one. Um, but we have a smaller mature female in here that is also eating. She's down there. Um, you guys can kind of see her, but she's also eating a superworm right now. But I'm doing a lot of stuff today just to reorganize. But today we're gonna be talking about these guys. Um, so these I haven't had for too long. I only have. Um, these two are my main breeding cups, but I have about um, four other ones all the way down there um, with all of our bean beetles in there. So about these guys, from what I've learned, um, these guys are very easy, extremely easy to breed, basically even easier than fruit flies, which is great. They're a nice alternative to feed, but they're not a staple food, so you don't want to feed them solely. Um, and for these guys, I have learned that um, because of my dart frogs myself, you do not want to feed these guys to like small dart frogs or like juveniles or babies. Um, more of the adult, adult dart frogs can eat these guys as well as some other different types of geckos like adult morning geckos can. Um, these are a really nice, easy to breed species. So let's go over how to breed them. So I already set these cups up because I almost forgot to make the video for them. I already set these guys, these cups up, and at the bottom of these cups, if you guys know what they are, all they are is just black-eyed peas. So I just got a two-pound bag of black-eyed peas. You don't have to wash them or anything like that. You just put at least an inch plus at the bottom of this container, and um, that's basically it. You put, you put them in there, and what these bean beetles are going to do is when you have them inside of the cup, as you guys can see, they're going to lay their eggs. Here, let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. They're going to lay their eggs on the um, on the beans themselves. You guys can see like that bottom one right there. And when the larva hatches, um, they're gonna go inside of the bean itself and then eat it from the inside out. So that's it. You don't have to water it or anything. That's just what they eat. Um, that's their food and they're okay just like that. So very easy to breed. Um, I don't have today, I don't have extra cardboard um, or any extra egg flats because I left that with our roach room, which is not at this location. I'm not at our house right now. So um, I'm not um, going to be putting cardboard in these ones, but I do want to separate them out so I can get them started at least. So all it is is opening up this lid. I can't do it with just one hand, but opening up this lid and then just putting at least you want to start off with 15 to 20 in there. I do have a decent amount between this container and that other container right here. So I'm gonna be putting a little bit more than just 15 in there um, just for them to separate and breed out a little bit faster. These guys are another alternate food, like I said, that we're gonna have breeding. So we have all of our fruit flies down there and that's, there's two cups, so it's, it's they're two stacked tall. Um, and then like I believe from here over is all the Hydei. And then like here's the, the Turkish gliders, the Melanogaster. Uh, we're breeding a lot more high day at the moment, but the Turkish gliders are going to be catching up real soon. I'm just waiting for the media to come for them. But for these guys, let me go ahead and move some of these over, and then I'll just show you exactly what it looks like. All right, so I just went ahead. That's the best part about having the actual um, whatever that's called in there is that I can just do this. So there's no lid on it right now because they're not climbing, but in here, there's still a bunch, and... To separate them, I'm gonna take this and just, just knock off all the ones that are on here. So all the ones, 
the bottom are knocked off. Because, I mean, like I said, they're extremely easy to breed. It does take them a little bit, but they're not the longest when it comes to breeding. They don't, it's not going to take forever, which is a great thing for them as a nice alternative. So, and that is basically it right there. Um, once I put the lid, ah, sometimes it's hard to, these lids, I like when the lids are tight, but sometimes it's, there we go. It's just hard to put on without trying to bend the cup. But that's it. They're just going to survive in there. We have all the, the beetles. Um, I have. I know I have over 15 in there at least. Um, but then, I mean, that's really the quick, short, easy video um, for these guys. They don't take much. Um, you just keep them at room temperature, just like how you would do with fruit flies. And um, you guys can see these guys are already climbing all the way back up. And they're going to do perfectly fine with transferring. I'm just going to keep this cup. Then as the black-eyed peas um, start to disappear because the larva eating them, um, that's when you want to transfer them out to a new enclosure. Um, or, in my case, when we're breeding them like this for sale, we want to at least start off colonies at 15 and then just let them breed out over the course of mm, a month, two months, right around there. And then once they get to like this number, and that's where we're going to sell them at. So... Um, that's why we're not going to be selling them just yet. We do got a few more months, hopefully, before uh, we're going to be selling them right around Christmas time, December. Um, but for now, we're going to be focusing on majorly on the fruit flies that are right there. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to do this for the rest of the five, four other cups that we have right now. Five other cups that we have. Um, and But that's about it. So if these are a new, a new alternative that's not commonly known... Um, for dart, dart frog keepers, they can be, but I have not seen these um, basically anywhere out of all the shows that I've done so far this year. I haven't seen them even at Tinley while I was bending there. I was looking around and, I mean, I probably wasn't looking for them, but I didn't notice anything as well. Um, even at these smaller shows where I see what's on everyone's table because I have more time, um, I don't see any there. So um, if you guys were interested in a new feeder, definitely check out bean beetles. They are, like I said, one of the easiest ones to get into. And we will be shipping these guys as well, um, but we'll be shipping them in an eight ounce container. Um, we're gonna make it with a little kit. We're gonna make an eight ounce container with the um, with the beans at the bottom, but we're also gonna be shipping it with a 32 ounce cup. And then the vented lid is gonna be on the eight ounce container. And then you just transfer it over to the 32 ounce cup um, with a little piece of this the the cardboard the egg flats um and that's it those are the kits that i plan on selling as of right now when we do go ahead to ship when we do start shipping them um possibly next spring is when we're going to do that because i don't trust um shipping insects right now with how we do it um over winter um unless it's going more south to a warmer climate but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this short little video today about um bean beetles you guys can see they come really cheap I'm around eight, five to eight dollars. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and see. Um, ask us if, uh, or tell me about some other uncommon feeder that's pretty easy to breed. And I'd love to get into it and show you guys how to breed them as well. But all right, have a great rest of your guys' day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.